So when you have a look at this guy down here, right, which one's f of x? Uh, the straight line. Think again, look again. It's an x squared plus x, right? So that's this guy. That's f of x. Now what I'm asking us to do for this is graph, again, the subtraction. So I haven't given you x plus 4, have I? The other line, what is it? Uh, have a look at the graph. Can you tell me from the graph, what's the equation? Uh, it is y equals negative gx. This is y equals the opposite, the negative, of g of x, which in this case is minus x minus 4. The minus x gives us this downward gradient, right? And the minus 4 tells us what? Uh, the y-intercept, the y which is right there. Okay, so you with me? So I've turned this subtraction problem into an addition problem. Now let's just add these two, okay? Where would you like me to go? Okay, so can we write the graph in? Okay, write this. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Right? So what I'm doing is, I'm thinking about x squared plus x, take away x plus 4. I'm saying that's the same as x squared plus x plus minus x minus 4. And that's the problem I'm now doing visually. Okay, you following? Yep. There's a point on the x axis, minus 4. Yep, so I've got this minus 4, right? You might notice... It like, what's the point that corresponds to that? It's like way above. It's like, whoa, it's so far up there, okay? So when I draw my red graph, my real graph, it's gonna have to be quite high up here, okay? So I'll get to that in a minute. I've got other x-intercepts though, don't I? Can I extend my parabola? I've got an x-intercept there. Sir, can I extend yep. my parabola higher so it's easier? Uh, you can draw it wherever you like, really. Just go for it, right? So I'm gonna go down to there. What does that look like to you? What y values that look like to you? Uh, three. That looks like negative 3 to me. No, I mean negative. Yep. And just like before, 0 plus negative 3 is negative, negative 3. three. So that's where my x goes. Uh, I've got another one here. Negative 4. I'm going to go down to negative 4. Thank you very much. Right there. 0 plus negative 4. Hopefully you're getting sick of me saying this, right? 0 plus something is just whatever the something is. Yeah. Okay, like that. Okay. Um, now, that's only two points, really. I feel like I need more information. Can you look on the graph and tell me, I've gone through my x-intercepts, where might be another useful place I could look? Uh, the problem on 2. Okay, yep, so I can see, you're talking about the y value? Yep. Right, so that value there is 2. So what's the other y value? All the way down here, what's that look like? Negative 5. Negative 5. What's 2 plus negative 5? Negative 3. Negative 3? So in fact, I'm just going to color this a little bit different, right? So I'm just going to make this green. So negative 3 is in the middle here, right? Down that way. Okay, yeah, you're getting, you see like, oh, it's turning around. It's turned, right? Is there another point you can tell me that might be useful? Uh, maybe, maybe have a look around here. Is there any like nice whole numbers you can see? Yeah, I've got again 2 and minus 2. What happens when you have 2 and minus 2? They, they collapse together and they give you zero, like that, so I'm gonna have a parabola going through here, okay? So I'm gonna get this parabola, right? All right, so I, I really do love my parabola. So I'm gonna do my very best now, and I'm going to uh, try and connect the dots, okay? So I think I'm gonna get something like, whew, all right, wish me luck. Uh, I'm gonna start from, I'm actually gonna cheat a little bit, sorry. Anyway. I'm drawing this upside down, because you can turn your page around, but I, anyway. So I'm going to go... Like that. And then on this side, what have I got here? Uh, let me see here. I'm just looking, I'm just making sure I do this like reasonably accurately for you guys. How's that look to you guys? Very good. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, and you might notice I had to do like a couple, a few lines to make sure it was accurate. But yeah, Rasin, you have a question? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in the test where we do like all the working, but like the final graph, like that doesn't look like so accurate. Yep. Are we going to just not? So here's my suggestion to you, and this is just a practical thing, right? I've got colors, that's fancy, right? But when I'm doing this in the exam, what I do is I do all my working in pencil, and I try and do it quite lightly, right? And then when I'm like, I'm ready, I've drawn my graph through, this is what I want to be the answer then I go over that in pen. And it's like, that's the only thing in pen here. And I know I'm going to get it right because I already like, you know, did it wrong a couple of times. I fixed it up and then I just go over that thing in pen. Okay. Now I'm going to do one last check, right? Let's do this algebraically and see what happens. 
How many x squared terms will I end up with? I'll just get the single x squared. What about the x terms? They, they cancel, don't they? Plus x, minus x. So no x's. What about the constant term? It's just minus 4. This is difference of two squares. What's the factorization? X minus 2. X plus 2. And so you can see the two roots you should get from that. Do they match with what our red graph tells us? Minus 2, plus 2. Bam, I'm done. Okay? Does that make sense?